You know that Gojo video? Dude, do you know... Did you know there's a whole college lecture on how Gojo's ability works in Shonen Jump? Like, an actual full college lecture. Like, I'm not fucking joking. They got actual mathematicians and, like, college professors to explain this fucking anime character's ability. And it is the most complicated, weirdo shit ever. It, it makes no sense. Bro, look at the... Bro, look what they're writing. Here, here's an example. Here's an example of a formula they made to explain one of his abilities. Like, bruh, like, like, what? What, motherfucker? Are you serious? This can't be real. It's just not real. So, okay, hold on. I go, let me show you this. Hold on, let me, can I turn on my screen real quick? Um... Okay. Look at this shit. Are y'all ready for this shit? Look. Deep learning mathematics lecture. Okay? So, this is the translation of it. Alright. This article includes advanced knowledges in mathematics and physics, and therefore it's difficult to understand. Please read books. Or ask your school teacher to slowly comprehend the content. Okay, professor at the Institute of Mathematics, uh, machine learning. Uh, he was one of teaching advisors uh, for the JJK editor. Uh, a demon in mathematics shocked the world, publishing a paper related to mathematical perspective on deep learning. And then they have the JJK editor, right? Okay, y'all get that shit. So... They're like, they're just like talking about, you know, they're who they are, shit like that, blah, 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 right? Basic shit. They're explaining Awasaka's ability, you know, how uh, the weaker the attack, the stronger it is. They're explaining like the mathematics behind it, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. They're comparing it to a tunnel diode fucking bullshit graph. Gives a fuck. And then they start talking about Gojo's ability, blue, red, and purple, Okay. So, Gojo creates an in infinity space, an infinity space between him and the opponent. He rapidly slows the movement of his enemies approaching him. As a result, they cannot touch his body. Okay? Two, rapidly slows the movement of his enemies approaching means to stop. The lapse technique, blue, is an application of limits to attract. Furthermore, with the opposite maneuver, Gojo can repel uh, using red, and blending blue and red generates purple. Okay? Cool. So, then they, they, they explain it. Okay? Now, I'm going to read this out loud for you, and I want to see if you can actually follow along on what you think Gojo's infinity ability is based on their ex their explanation, okay? You guys ready to read? I, or, when you guys are ready, you got to turn your brain on. You're going to have to turn your brain on for this, all right? I'm going to read it. All right, let's see if you guys know what the fuck they're saying, okay? Okay, Hino says... Gojo's limitless technique claims that it's impossible to count and tell the infinity. Time is a continuous parameter, therefore it can be divided into an infinite frames, and hence it takes limitless amount of time to count. Takano says, agreed. If one second is sampled every 0.1 seconds, we will get 10 frames. If it is sampled every 0.01 seconds, we will get 100 frames. And if we reduce the sampling time to 0 0.00000001 second, the frame numbers will become infinitely large. Sonata then says the key points of this technique are approaching action and slowing the convergence, and the approaching action can be expressed as a convergent sequence. If a convergent sequence can be slowed down, this is a rearrangement of conditionally convergent series. We can write this as figure 2, and the manipulation to rearrange is blue. By performing the rearrangement, or permutation, the distance at the extreme limit, which is larger than n, will be greater than ellipses? I don't know what the fuck that is. Hence, the series will not converge. Okay. 
Hino says, I see. This is Raya Mansiri's theorem, right? Someone dominated by this cursed technique thinks that his attack will converge, Gojo, but actually will diverge, and hence their attack will never reach Gojo. Ha ha. So it says, Gojo is such a nasty fellow. You think he's a nasty fellow? That's that's foreshadowing that Gojo's a bad guy, by the way. <coughs> uh, this is the editor. Uh, another way to explain this technique is using a strong phase or long... Uh, long-range strong interaction physics effects. Phase simply means a rule to define if two points are included in the same open group. A weak phase, the states of all group members are the same, and a strong phase means each group member has different characters. We can suggest that Gojo could control the strength of the phase or, or distance between him and the enemy. Okay? You guys get that? So, uh, basically... He manipulates concepts, right? He manipulates the concepts of distance. So, all right. You guys want me to explain what they just said? You want me to explain what they just said, dude? I'll give you. I'll give you a little idea. <laughs> if, if does anyone actually get it though? Does anyone in the chat actually understand it? Anybody? Answer now. Answer now if you get it. If you get it at all. Answer. Okay. <laughs> All right. So So they give they give three explanations, right? Okay, Baki, you get it, then explain it. Explain it, bitch boy. Then explain it, Goku. Let's see it. Explain to me the whole process, dude. Come on. <laughs> anyway, let me explain it. I'll explain one theory because I don't want to. I don't want to go over all of them. I want to go over all of them in the video. So basically, what's happening is this is like Achilles and the tortoise kind of thing. All right. So like, it's no, you're wrong. No, you're also wrong. Okay, you're both wrong. You you failed. Anyway, so it's like an Achilles and the tortoise thing. But one one basic way to interpret it is that um, say say like say that you have like a frame, okay? You have like one frame, one. Uh, let's say uh, you know let's uh, let's open up this and let's turn off this, okay? Uh, and text. Let me let me just say, okay. Let's just say you have one, okay? You see. One, <laughs> okay, and then this one, one can also then turn into point one, right? You see that? See how one, one then turns into point one, <laughs> and then one then turns into Point zero one, okay, and then you see one then turns into point zero 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 one, and then you see one turns into point zero 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 infinity one, okay. Let me make that smaller so you can see it. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so. The, you see, you see how one. Um, let let's say this though, and then let's say at the end of this, there's a zero. Okay. So in between one and zero. Actually, you. This is actually a better way to look at it. Let's just say infinity, then one. Then we'll say. Oh, this is actually a much better way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm getting my teacher brain going. Sick. Wow. Okay. So let's say in between in between infinity and one, there's infinite numbers, right? You guys agree? In, bet in between infinity and one, there's infinity numbers? Okay. So in between one and zero, 
there's not infinite numbers, but you see how he can he can uh, add an infinity in between one and zero. So what Gojo does is he basically will always add like fractals almost of every single frame of reality uh, and add an infinity in between any space he desires and magnifies that infinity to the point where whatever's coming towards him will always endlessly converge and never actually reach zero. Uh, and that's just like the first theory that they explain. So like no matter like no matter how strong Kakashi is per se, say Kakashi is like a fucking multiverse like Godbuster with Raikiri, uh, he will never actually reach Gojo. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> that that's like that's like a half assed interpretation of like the first one. And then the other three are just like more complicated because you have to go into like Ryan theory like theories and shit like that. It's fucking stupid, bro. It's fuck it's just dumb. Like, I just wanted to talk about, like, Gojo versus Kakashi. Like, why do I have to even know that? It's fucking stupid. I'm just a, I'm just a fucking weeb, man. I'm just a weeaboo. Like, I don't give a fuck. But I have to learn. I'm going to have to learn all of it. Yeah. Also, Gojo, Gojo not only fucking, um, Gojo not only has spatial manipulation, but in the, it's actually stated he has, uh, his red has time-space manipulation as well, and the motherfucker moves in a timeless, in a timeless box. Like, there's so much weird shit he does, and his verse is like mountain level. <laughs> it's so cringe. This show sucks. Like, did you know? Did you know the reason Gojo's purple is called hollow purple? Is because when the mathematical principles of red and blue are put together, it creates a negative equation that creates something that looks hollow. And that's why it's called hollow purple. Dude. This author's crazy. <coughs> this author's no wonder he hates Gojo. He's taking a fucking college a college lecture every time he wants to write a scene with him. God damn. <laughs> this author's stupid. No wonder he locked Gojo in a box. God damn it, dude. <laughs> but yeah, dude. I'm going to have to, like, learn so much shit to write this video. I thought I was just going to be able to write it overnight, dude. Nope. Nope, I won't. <laughs> Whoever wrote JJK is high-key, like, the most cracked mangaka ever. <laughs> He's actually insane. And that's why, like... And also, that's why, like, when Gojo... That's why when Gojo fights Jogo, <clears throat> he um he does this. Let me see if I can find that the scan. Uh let's see if I can find the scan. Okay, here it is. It's fucking blurry. Okay, so you see this scan here? Let me put it on the screen. <clears throat> he hates... Yeah, dude, the reason he hates Gojo is definitely because Gojo is, like, fucking college, like, math level. Okay. So, you see this? So, the reason Gojo did that, that finger right there, see how he's doing that finger sign? Is because... He's Gojo is basically explaining that there you could you could theoretically just like you could create infinity from one through zero, he can create infinity through between his fingertips, like the same way you can create it through like a singular number. Like that's li that's literally why he does that fucking that finger gesture. <laughs> He's so stupid. This character sucks, cock. <laughs> Uh, 
I miss the days when I thought Dragon Ball calcs were hard. Right, dude? <laughs> Me too, bro. <laughs> now I have to explain these fucking rhyming theories and Achilles and the tortoise and shit. I'm gonna fucking end my life. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Minecraft barrier blocks? Yeah. Sorry, I'm eating Takis. Dude, Takis are like crack. Whoever made... I hope whoever made Takis is just getting their dick, like, sucked right now. Like, I hope their balls are just getting drained by, like, eight bitches at once. Whoever made these fucking things. Like, right now. God damn, they deserve it. Fuck. Who made these things? <laughs> Can you explain Nanika? Fuck no, I don't care. Fuck Nanika. Dumb bitch. You did? <laughs> Why are you good? Thanks. <laughs> this is why you're the goats. Takis are the best chip. Dude, on God. On God.